Hey, good morning, y'all. It is Thursday, which is normally weigh-in day, but not today. For the next three months, if we do in fact go that long, it could um, go shorter. Fingers crossed. I'm not going to have a regular weigh-in day because obviously with this stuff on my legs, I can't do it. So, I'll take it off tomorrow, um, right before my appointment, and get me a good shower. Whew. And so, I'll weigh then. Look, I'm up. And really, I'll be honest with you, I don't even know. I'll weigh in just to have something in my tracker. But, it's not going to be a full week so it's not going to be consistent. So I really don't even want to do weigh-in videos because it's not a true story. And until they get this lymphedema business under control, it's not a true story. Now, also, I've been eating like I'm going to the electric chair. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. I have got so much on my plate that my reaction to all the emotions all of them <clears throat> is to go to food I don't know um, when I don't have like these major life events happening it's not so bad I can control it because you know I've done it and I've lost weight but when I have these things coming at me from all directions and something new every day it's just something new every day I don't even, I've told you this before, I don't care what I eat. I know I have to lose weight, but those emotions, they just, they override. You see this? This is every day, multiple times a day, and I can't control it. It is just, it's free, free flowing. The stupidest things set me off. Because there's so many big things in the background that have pushed me to this point. Something came up yesterday with one of my children and my grandson that I'm not lying to you. I would carry this back problem to my grave to switch places and make that work it's just it's too much and I'm having a hard time handling it all and y'all know I come on here and tell you anything anyway so it's not like this is something <laughs> Not like this is something new, you know. What else is the sad sack going to tell us? That's what I feel like—just a sad sack. If there's ever a, a happy moment in there, I'm not joking you. It is when I'm filming something for y'all. Now, I get tired when I cook. My legs bother me when I cook. My back bothers me when I cook. But when I'm cooking, and I know I'm doing it for y'all, I feel happy. My doctor, my regular doctor, when I went for my um, three months, because I think I've told you I go every three months and I have for years, um, whether I want to or not, <laughs> she makes me come every three months because I have so many health problems, so many y'all don't even y'all don't even have a clue. Anyway, I'm in there last time, and you know how I've been beat down fr from all this. And I just, when I see her face, I just start crying immediately. And so, you know, we're talking, and she understands where I'm coming from. She understands everything that's going on in my life. She understands how it has affected me. And so she just asked me, she's like, do you get any enjoyment out of life? And my one, my, my one answer was, I enjoy YouTube. And it's the truth. There's not anything else that I do because I don't have an active life. I don't go places except, like, you know, I like to go to the thrift stores. Because if I don't get out of this house, I'll go stir crazy. 
I'm a homebody and I stay home, but the walls come in sometimes. You know what I'm saying? You, know, you, you just got to get out. You got to have some fresh air. I like to get in my car. My favorite thing, uh, I like this. I like to get in my car, turn on my Spotify. I, I make one a driving list, put it on my Bluetooth, blast it. My, <laughs> I, went, <laughs> I went to take RJ. Somebody had given me some dishes and silverware that they didn't need. So Holly took the dishes and RJ, he had already told me he needed silverware, so I knew he wanted that. So I went over to take it to him a couple weeks ago. He come out, he's like, was that you thumping coming in the, <laughs> up to the house? I'm like, yeah, could you hear that? He said, I heard you out on the road. Come in one day, Holly was out there at her car. She parks in the front yard. I come down the side road, come around up there, and she's like, when she saw me, she just started bopping her head. I'm like, okay, I know it's loud in here. To me, it's like Holly says, we like our music till our ears bleed. David and her boyfriend, who must be 100 years old, <laughs> they're both like, oh, I can't take it. I don't, I don't like that loud music. Turn it down. So both of us are the same. She's cut from the cloth, and, and bless her heart. <laughs> she turns into me she's going to have it rough we are cut from the same cloth that when we have somewhere to go we don't ask them to go <laughs> with us and we're not trying to be mean but we both escape in our cars with our music that is an escape and an enjoyment for us when they're in the car we can't do it so we're just driving just, just going from point A to point B so they um harsh are mellow <laughs> so unless it's somewhere that we have to go together we don't even ask them it's like oh i'll go get it i'll do it i'll drive you know so no you don't have to go that's fine i'm good <laughs> so um that brings me to now some of you have already contacted me asking me about my daughter but for the rest of you that hadn't I did get my referral for the surgeon and they they're sending me to Duke to some of their spine specialists there and I go next Thursday I could have gone Friday as in tomorrow but I got to go do my legs and I could not um, they're they're so busy I, they could probably work me in but it would be hard because it's a 90 minute office visit and they're slammed they're just slammed one after the other after the other and I can't since I got this one done Tuesday there is no way it would stay up and on all the way until I think I go Monday or Tuesday again I don't know um because like I said it's all varied you know different days different times just twice a week and um I was talking about <laughs> going to Durham and by the time I stop and have to go to the bathroom because you know fluid pills they'll do it to you and then I'll have to get out and probably stretch it's going to be probably a three hour or more drive for me and Joan was like <laughs> we were talking yesterday and she's like was well, David going with you because I told her I said well it's probably about three hours she's like is David going with you I'm like no probably not because <laughs> I love him but I don't want him to go with me. I would rather him, besides the fact that I'm getting a nice road trip all to myself in my own brain, which I can so totally use to get outside myself, if that makes sense. Um, when I, and I'm saying when I have this back surgery, because if this surgeon tells me he can't do it, I'm not leaving his office until he agrees. I, I'll just camp out there and live there. <laughs> because... There's no way that I am the largest person to ever have a back surgery. People get them all the time. You cannot leave somebody to suffer when they have something as bad as this. So I don't think the surgeon down here would have referred me to them if they weren't capable of doing it on somebody my size. So I am looking forward to a surgery. But I would rather him not burn a vacation day to drive to a doctor's visit when he's going to have to take some when I do have the surgery. So, 
that's kind of a dual thing. No, let me drive by myself, be to myself, and then you can be around when I do have the surgery. So I do, I go, I go there Thursday and I will most definitely let you know what they say. And then the other thing is I'm going to suspend Thrifty Thursday because the schedule is so convoluted here and there. I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to stick to a strict, I got to have it up on Thursday because I have to cook it earlier in the week and then have it ready for Thursday. So like Tuesday, I went to the thing and I come home didn't think about it. Then yesterday, Wednesday, it hit me. I'm like, tomorrow's Thursday. Where's Thrifty Thursday? Then I decided it's too much to try to keep up with and adhere to. You got to have it cooked and you got to have it uploaded, edited, and ready to come on on Thursday. So some of you don't like it, but the ones of you that do... I apologize and I'll try to get back to it when I get through with this. Now, if there happens to be, you know, something I cook that's thrifty, we'll pop it in there and we'll call it thrifty whatever day that is. <laughs> you know, because a lot of what I do cook is thrifty, but I can't show you because it's just like last night's supper. Thrifty, thrifty, thrifty. Pinto beans, cabbage, and baked potatoes. Then I had some, um, slaw mix left from my collab that I did those Asian lettuce cups so I made slaw because I like slaw with my pinto beans didn't have cornbread because I just I've not been feeling good since I've got this thing on it is pressing I think because it is so high because that goes down back there all the way you know the top of my sciatic nerve and hamstring down there and, and this was wrapped so high and so tight I think it's like pressing on that nerve so where it's pinching up at my vertebrae my disc whatever you want to call it I don't know and shooting the pain down that way I think this is on the bottom part pushing on it so it is constant I thought it was constant before Ooh, it's constant now and so that has been another thing that has had me not doing much. The one thing that relieves it is sitting in my chair with my feet propped up. That will, like, take the pressure off of it to where it's not a constant. Like right now, it's just constant. So, anyway, I think that's all I want to come on and tell you. Just some updating and... I'm pretty sure that's it. So, if I think of anything else, I'll tell you on another video. How about that? So, y'all have a good day.